come and talk to our class. It is important that you're here. Thanks. We really appreciate you. So I'm going to let you talk about Thanks. what you want to talk about. Guys, thank you. Thank, thank you. Ah, I'm going to have a seat if that's okay with you guys. Well, a lot of you guys know me. I'm a, I'm a social studies teacher here at, at Merkerson. And uh, I was really felt pretty cool and honored that one of you guys picked me um, to kind of describe one of these character traits that you guys have been learning about in JPA. So I know you guys have been learning a lot about integrity and honor, but something I wanted to talk about was enthusiasm. And enthusiasm is a very, very powerful and important trait that you guys should try to harness. And I know you're probably like, yeah, big deal, Mr. Shane. I'm enthusiastic about this. I'm enthusiastic about that. But Passion is very, very important. And I know that you guys that have me as students see that I'm very passionate about a lot of things. And what does that benefit me as a teacher? I mean, sometimes subject matter might not be all that interesting, but my students would really never have an idea of what I thought was really interesting and what might be a little harder to get across because I'm able to do it enthusiastically. So sometimes I'm able to kind of maybe trick some students by saying, well, this is a very important topic we've got to study because I can show you enthusiasm. Today is Pearl Harbor Day. And so December 7th, 1941 was a crazy day in American history. And you never really saw more enthusiasm than you did like of these guys that after we get attacked by the Empire of Japan, People like the man you just saw are running to line up enthusiastically as Americans to go kind of fight a fight that was necessary. So today, guys, was a big enthusiasm day when it comes to social studies of Americans trying to get a fight together. But what are some things you guys are enthusiastic about? Austin. Um, enthusiastic about sports, you know, mm -hmm. stuff I do. How can you use that enthusiasm in things you don't like to do? Um, Enthusiasm, Austin, will help you cope with some things that you might not like to do. Kyle, what does coping mean? Coping means, uh, like, comparing. Good thought. Jacob? Uh. To cope. Right now, I am coping with a paper towel. <laughs> What's coping, man? I thought it was like uh, using it to your advantage. Just to you could possibly. Who's dancing around him? Mike? Well said. Perfect. Deal with it. Guys, in a lot of things, as students, you know well, sometimes you got to deal with it. Enthusiasm, like Austin has for some sports, will help you deal with things that you might not exactly like to deal with. So enthusiasm really helps me sometimes when school is a little crazy and classes are big and I just, enthusiasm just drives me to do, to, to be a good teacher for you guys. I'm enthusiastic about a lot of things. I'm enthusiastic about social studies. I'm enthusiastic about not having you guys eat McDonald's ever. I'm enthusiastic about trying to just passionately show you guys why I love social studies and um, I, I think enthusiasm is important and I don't think anybody's talked to you about that yet is that correct no. okay correct enthusiasm guys football coaches can throw enthusiasm at you guys but it's hard for you to demonstrate that and I just want you to think about some things you might not like doing